In this lesson we are going to learn about iterating through hashes. Let's take again our, ha our hash rails karate, uh, the hash we had in the previous lessons. Okay, here is the hash. Okay, so if we print it. Okay, we got it. If we want to iterate over the different items of the hash, we can use the each method. The each method is similar, very similar that the one we used with arrays. Let's see how it works. So each. And similarly to the each method of the arrays, the each method of the hashes takes a block. And here you will pass instead of an item, you will pass the key and value. And here you can make any action. Even we can do it in using using do. We can we can make it with the curly braces syntax, or we can make it with the syntax. If you are going to make a lot of things inside of the block, the syntax is much much better. Let's use it. Uh, key value. So I'm going to print in the key. Okay, let's print the key and in the value and let's print the value. Okay, puts. I forgot to add the put sentence. Okay, puts and then. And as you can see, we have here the each method and it iterated over each item of our hash. As you can see, Actually, you can do anything you want inside of the of the block. Now, if we wanted to iterate only over the keys instead of the values and keys, we can use each key method. So let's see, let's take a look. So here you have each. Oh, okay, each key, each key, key and value. Let's use this time the curly braces syntax. Now, as you will see that it's the same. Each key, okay, and it takes a block. The block takes two arguments. One of the arguments is the key, another the value. Okay, inside the, the block action, we can do anything. So we're going to print the, the key. And in the key, uh, print the key. Oh. Well, something changes here, sorry. As we are going to iterate over the keys only, because each key, so we only take one argument in the block, and then we can print only the key. Instead of the each, this one takes only the one argument that is the key of the hash, and it's gonna print, as you can see, he printed three times the three keys, in addition to the each key method, we also have each value method. So if only we want to iterate over the values. And here, well, we can we could le leave it right like this. It it will it will work, but another another coder won't understand. So it's much better to use the standards. So we are going to iterate over values. Let's change the name of the argument to value, and it's the same. There is another method, and it's the last one we're gonna take. We're gonna talk about, and it's keep if. So let's let's take a look. So we can say <coughs> keep f. So it takes the two arguments, key and value, and let's say we're not going to print anything here but we can say key f okay the two arguments and let's say keep f key equals to location and it will keep only the items that meet the condition okay so in this case only one item will meet the condition Okay, so it returned uh, one item that is the unique one that has location as a key. 
So let's see your the contents of our of our hash. As you can see, we only got we only kept the the location key with the value of the internet. Well, this is the basics of iterating over hashes. Now I have a challenge for you. Do you remember we we were doing with arrays some methods like any, like all, like reject, select, and everything? Do you remember? Well, those all those methods can be applied also to hashes. So I challenge you to apply those methods to to hashes and tell us if you could um well whatever you want to tell us or if you have doubts um you can leave a comment or you if you just want to say hello this is the last lesson of this stage about ruby hashes in the next stage we'll be talking about methods in ruby as always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Sebastian Valandia, follow us Risk Karate as Risk Karate on Twitter, follow us on Facebook Risk Karate, always keep an eye on riskkarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video. And thanks so much for subscribing to our channel. So, see you next stage.